Darius was not his real personal name. Historians believe that the name Darius was a title of honor meaning holder of the scepter. In other words the scepter holder. King. Of the Medes. The name Darius in Persian. Darius seems to be related to Dara, which in of Stan is a term or title for king. You can see this clearly in the original names attached to the rest of the Dariuses yet to come. For example, Darius I was the Great. Darius II was Oceus. And Darius III was Codomanus. Other examples of titles can be found in the Roman titles of the Caesars or that of the many King Herods, as well. It also clearly can be seen throughout the different Greek titles of Antiochus, Seleucus, and Ptolemy. In fact, one can go as far back as the pharaohs of Egypt or to the many popes of Rome. Leo, Jean, Paul, etc. Therefore, Dariush. The royal one was a special honorific title, which could also be used as a proper name. Just as king may be a name in English. The early 20th century. Publication of cuneiform texts dating from 535 to 525 has enabled one to understand much better the circumstances surrounding the fall of Babylon in 539 BC. Darius the Mede was another name for Gabaru, the governor under Cyrus, who appointed sub-governors in Babylonia immediately after its conquest. Nabonidus Chronicle This same Gabaru Not to be confused with Agbaru, governor of Gatium, the general under Cyrus, who conquered Babylon and died three weeks later, according to the Nabonidus Chronicle, is frequently mentioned in cuneiform documents during the following 14 years, as governor of Babylon and the region beyond the river. The entire Fertile Crescent. Gabaru thus ruled over the vast and populous territories of Babylonia, Syria, Phoenicia, and Pal, and his name was a final warning to criminals throughout this area. The fact that he is called king in the sixth chapter of Daniel is not an inaccuracy, even though he was a subordinate of Cyrus. Similarly, Belshazzar was called king, even though he was second ruler of the kingdom under Nabonidus. He assumed the kingship over this territory when Cyrus himself withdrew from Babylon, and appointed his own supervisors over his dominion, holding the power of life and death over them. The Babylonian Record Nabonidus Chronicle of Darius the Medes' conquest of Babylon is in the month of Tashritu, at the time when Cyrus battled the forces of Akkad and Opis on the Tigris River, the citizens of Akkad revolted against him, but Nabonidus scattered his opposition with a great slaughter. On the fourteenth day, Sipir was taken without a fight. Nabonidus then fled for his life. On the sixteenth day, Gabaru, Darius the Mede, the leader of Gatium along with the army of Cyrus entered Babylon without any opposition. Later they arrested Nabonidus, when he returned to Babylon. On the third day of the month of Urashamnu, Cyrus marched into Babylon, and they laid down green branches in front of him. The city was no longer at war, peace being restored. Cyrus then sent his best wishes to the residents living there. His governor, Gabaru, then installed leaders to govern over all Babylon. Certainly it was consistent with Cyrus's policy, to put talented and loyal Medes like General Harpagus into key positions in his government. The Book of Daniel gives more information concerning the personal background of Darius the Mede, than of Belshazzar or even of Nebuchadnezzar, for he is the only monarch in the book, whose age, parentage, and nationality are recorded. Although he was a subordinate ruler like Belshazzar, it is evident that he ruled Babylonia with far greater zeal and efficiency than did his profligate predecessor, and even more important, he honored the god of Daniel.